Oh, it's been a big week for news, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And right before the show, the Republican House Ethics Committee, Republican House Ethics Committee, keyword there, Republican, <laughs> um, they, they filed a resolution to expel George Santos, who currently faces 23 felony charges, which is about a third of the charges Trump is facing. <laughs> and yesterday, he announced that he will not run for re-election, which is... Um, but I find that a loss for his constituents since he reportedly spent donor dollars getting Botox, shopping at Hermes, <laughs> and subscribing to OnlyFans account. Finally, we see Joe Santos. We say that he was not going to be, re he will not go for re-election again. And if you see from his speech, he say that they did not hire him because he played volleyball. And most people lied on their resume. To him, basically, um... To him, basically, most people tell lies. So, to him, basically, you're not choosing because of um, your qualification. You're choosing because of what you can bring on the table, your potential and what you can use in any organization, what you have in you to make that organization better. Let's watch and see the different point of view from the women in the views. Boring nerd, dork, whatever you want to call me. I just discovered what OnlyFans was about three weeks ago when it was brought up in a discussion in my office. What do you think? And I was, ve I was oblivious to the whole concept. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The reality is, is it's a witch hunt. I'll be a chairman of a committee in a couple of years. Most people lie on their resumes. It's just, unfortunately, it's it's the reality. Yeah, but you lied about everything. Well, not true. Nobody elected me because I played volleyball or not. Nobody elected me because I graduated college. I'm offended as a citizen, but I'm also ashamed as a fellow member of the Botox community. <laughs> He wants to serve out his term, but will Republicans cut the cord? And why is it always a witch hunt when they commit crimes? Suddenly, you're going after them, and it's a witch hunt. Well, I don't think he's going to end up staying through his term. Um, I think the fact that the Ethics Committee chairman has decided to file the motions, motion for expulsion. And by the way, Republican members of the New York House delegation all came forward and called for him to be expelled. He's become an embarrassment to the state at the end of the day, regardless of your political... They claim that when Republicans always commit like they do something, they always say that it's a witch hunt after mm -hmm. them. They also say that um, they don't want to allow him to finish his term like George um, Santos, the one, the congressman of New York. So they want him to step down before his term is finished. No one wants to stand and support and stand for him. They also went and talked that um, why is it that in, only in the Congress that... Um, they can do certain things and go away with it. But in the regular world and a regular job, if you commit a crime, either you're going to be fired, either you're going to be sanctioned, maybe suspended, either you're going to, um, even be, um, be sued for what you committed. But, um, the only reason why people in Congress will commit certain crimes and they will go free, let's see why views. No one wants to have to defend that guy. But I keep going back to a point Sarah has made every time this comes up. Why is it that in Congress you can get away with doing things you couldn't yeah. in any other job? This would literally be like if I asked Brian if I could use the Disney corporate card for Botox and OnlyFans. Like that just, that doesn't work. I you, mean we, you, mean, you, you mean we can't use the <laughs> oh. um, But I would add, I do think that this is a, the right move. I still think that Senator Manette, Bob Menendez in the Senate needs to also be expelled who's been indicted um they talk about that santos and menendez um the congressman who is worse than is it santos or is it menendez bob menendez actually the the women in the view said that um santos is is worse menendez at least did with some high class men and his was better because his transaction, you could see that he was different the way he was spending his own money. So he was very different according to them. So according to them, when they went ahead and talk about, um, they went ahead and talk about that, um, Santos lied about his qualification, about him in New York, that he didn't even go to college, where he said went to college. And they went and checked and see that, there's, he has an MBA in the New York University. But when they check, his name was not found there. And 
Mm? He was lying and that's one of the crimes that he committed. Although he took 6,000 and did his botox with that also. Mm -hmm. On uh, charges of acting as a foreign yeah. governor. Yeah. With a foreign governor. Which is but who's worse? Is who's worse? Why Menendez or Santos? I think, I think Santos is worth because he also went to Ferragamo and spent $6,000. <laughs> Inside he's yeah, jealous. Botox, <laughs> but I think so Menendez is more dangerous because he was trading things. He was smarter. Right. <laughs> like, Santos is kind of feckless other allegedly. than with money. Allegedly. allegedly. But Menendez had, was actually dealing with some high-level people. That scares me a little more. But regarding this guy, in December uh, 2021, before he was ever even elected, if his staff had just come forward, they actually had a 141-page vulnerability report <laughs> because they thought he was a fabulist and that he, nothing, a, a fabulist, a liar. like a, a liar. liar. Another yeah. for a liar. Originally, I read that as it's fabulous, a, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't too. Or it's not. A nicer I way of it saying fabulous. liar. But they said there's no evidence you graduated from New York University with an MBA or from Baruch College, and they were like, something's wrong, you need help. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, he didn't quit or get help, and so three staff members quit. I wish they had come forward well, that's and the saved us all the problems that I have. I, I would think that if you are running from, for office, you must be fully vetted, fully, fully vetted, so that the American people that are voting for you, right, know um, what you're voting for. I also think that there should be some sort of class beforehand, before you like kind of put your hat in the ring. This is what a campaign finance violation looks like. <laughs> you cannot use your corporate. Don't you think he, he, knew, that? he, knew. he I, knew? I I don't know because we do know in Brazil he got into some trouble for doing some similar things. Yeah. But the vetting was the significant problem. But I am not so sure that the Republicans are going to expel him. I think there have been other motions to expel him that have it, been. Un actually, the way Nana explained that um, Santos have been discovered a long time ago and. They're trying to expel him, but um, he has some support from some few Republicans and from Democrats also that they don't want to um, expel him. So they are in communication that um, why we didn't know he lied about almost everything. Then they went ahead and voted for him. So that look awkward, that look awkward for you to know somebody is lying about their situation and still went ahead and you voted for that person. So... They are still looking into it to see all what if really uh, if, if really all what um the crime being put on him is 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 um is fake or is real um they really want to see what's happening they don't just want to um expel him without concrete result then later on they discover that he was being lied on that would be another thing to 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 be work on so what do you really think do you think that um Santo should be expelled from Congress, or do you think he should be given another chance? Let me, um, or do you believe that all what they are saying about it in this light? Let me see your own, um, opinion on the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe and help share the video. If you really like what I'm doing and you want to support in your own little way, you can help, um, you, in what I'm doing, you only the way you can join the membership is underneath this video. Thank you very much and God bless you.